This might look like something straight out of a science fiction movie, but it's actually a fairly common annelid worm found in freshwater habitats like ponds and streams. The worm is commonly known as a black worm, and it's only about a millimeter in thickness, but it can reach a length of up to 10 centimeters. The beautiful colors are due to the worm being illuminated with polarized light. This makes the muscle layers change color depending on the orientation in the light. Inside the worm we can clearly see the peristaltic movements it uses to transport food from one end to the other. This could be things like microorganisms or decaying plant material. If the worm gets cut into two, each part will regenerate and become two individual worms, which will be genetic clones. These small alien looking things are tiny crustaceans called fairy shrimps, or anostraca if you want to be a bit more scientific about it. These ones hatched about 48 hours ago and are roughly 2 mm in size. They live for around 6 to 8 weeks and in the first half of their lives they will grow to be more than 10 times their size to around 25 mm or an inch. Fairy shrimps live all over the world but because of their relatively large size and slow of movement, they are easy prey for fish. So the easiest places to find them is in vernal pools and other fishless habitats, where they can be found in huge numbers if conditions are right. Fairy shrimps are filter feeders and feed on things like algae and other types of plankton. This is a single-celled organism in the middle of a cell division, also known as mitosis. In the first part of the division, the cell copies its DNA, which means that each new daughter cell will be genetically identical. The next step is to transport each new set of DNA to each end of the cell, together with other cellular components. In the meantime, the cellular membrane has slowly started to pinch inwards to separate the cell into two new cells, which is what we see here. Now there's only a thin bridge holding the two cells together which are in the middle of something that looks like a microscopic tug of war. Finally, the cell membrane completely separates, leaving the now individual cells to move freely. Nematodes, more commonly known as roundworms, can be found all around us, from deep oceans to high mountains. Free-living roundworms can feed on many different things depending on species. This could be things like algae, fungus and bacteria. However, some are parasites and feed on the blood of the host or the content of the intestines. More than 30 species are known to be human parasites. And maybe you already know the pinworm and whipworm, which are common infections. Most free-living species are less than 2 mm in size, but some of the human parasites can be more than 30 cm, and other species are even larger. Moena is a small type of crustacean found in both fresh and saltwater habitats in many parts of the world. Male moenas measure around 700 microns, but females can be more than twice that size. This little one is only about 36 hours old, but in a matter of a few days it will be fully grown and ready to reproduce. Each little black dot inside this female is the eye of an unborn moena. When the babies are ready to leave their mother and enter into the real world, she will contract her body leaving a small opening allowing them to swim out. In the back of the animal is a tiny rapidly beating heart with an incredible heart rate of around 180 beats per minute. The moena uses this heart to pump immune cells around the body, just like our white blood cells. A huge thanks to my Patreons at patreon.com for their support. If you want to help me make more and better videos in the future, as well as get your name listed here, you can also support me on patreon.com and I will put a link to that down in the description, along with links to the materials I used to make the polarized light and other materials I used to make this video. If you have any questions or ideas to what you want to see under the microscope in the future, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.